I have a rib here. I also have a rib here. And these are actually from the same person. How could that be? Well, in order to explain this one, I really need a globe. Oh my good, perfect timing. All right, so what do I have here? I've got a, ooh, oh, that's old school. In fact, this says 1953 to me. I found it in the basement. All right, I've got a rib here. Think about our thoracic cage like the globe, okay? As we get closer to the North Pole here, I don't need that much to circle around. I put a small rib there. Slightly larger rib as we come further down, and slightly larger still as we get closer to the equator. So when we go progressively south, south, south to the equator, just as in you and I, when we go progressively more and more and even more inferiorly, the ribs will get larger and larger. Open. So I don't know anybody personally that has ribs coming out of the lumbar region. I think it's also pretty safe to assume that I don't know anybody. Wait, hang on. No, no. Oh, I've got that one weird uncle. No. I don't know anybody that has ribs coming out of their neck, so cervical region's out. But, ah, uh, yes, thoracic region. Okay, this is where we're going to find our ribs. So, if we look at a typical rib, which we have here, we have a couple structures I want you to be familiar with. This is the head of the rib. This is the neck. This is the tubercle. So, head, neck, tubercle. You can see this sharp turn right here. This is why we call it the angle. And then the body. So head, neck, tubercle is this bump right here. Angle, body, which leads all the way to the sternal end. So we call this the sternal end because if I pick up the sternum here, you can see coming off the sides, we have costal cartilage. So fun fact, costa means rib. This is a fun fact, you guys. These are this is this is fun. Okay, uh, this is dinner table conversation here. So we call this the costal cartilage, and you can see this would be the sternal or the costal end of this rib that's going to come in and and attach right there. So this is the anterior side because of course this is this is our our the front side of our body, our rib cage or pardon me, our sternum that we're looking at, but we see how the rib cage fits in. But when we look at this from the posterior view, and again, remember I mentioned this is thoracic region, you can see actually how nicely this is going to fit in. So that the head, the neck, and the tubercle, remember, head, neck, tubercle, are going to fit in really nicely with this transverse process of the thoracic vertebrae. In fact, you'll probably remember the term transverse costal facet. That's that smooth little portion that we see right here. So spinous process, this is posterior, transverse processes out to the side. That transverse costal facet is exactly how this is going to lock in place. Okay.